Yes, meet Joe Eager. Joe Eager, Joe Pluvius. Say, Joe, how about giving Joe a sample of that finest ring? Oh, ha, 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 ha. First old please, ha, the best, oh. <laughs> That's the rain that does the most good. And it falls right over the good soil area. Well, I'll be darned. And now for the best sunshine. We'd better not to uh, okay. go in. soil in the finest green area. Right, Joe. And where all three overlap is the spot Stokely's picked to grow their finest. So that's where they built their cannery. Gee, do they only have one cannery, Easy? Only one? Why, Stokely has canneries everywhere. Up in Canada, all over the United States, and even across the blue Pacific and Hawaii. But let's get down to earth, Joe. I want to show you one of Stokely's finest growing areas. Gosh, Easy, they're beautiful. And you know why? Good breeding, Joe. Good breeding. Let me show you. The family album. You know, Joe, Stokely's tomatoes aren't just plain tomatoes. Well, what, what are they? They're pedigreed. Hey, she's a cute little tomato. Uh-huh. That's Miss Landon. A tasty dish. And that's Mr. Bolgino. I, uh, sort of introduced them, and <laughs> it was love at first sight. You know, wedding bells and orange blossoms and... <laughs> uh, theirs? Uh-huh. Little Van Camp. And that's seeing you eat a tomato from South America. I, uh, introduced them, too, and... They were married? Uh-huh. And did they, uh... Uh-huh. Jeepers, that's quite a family. Yes, sir. Stokely's family of tomatoes has a pedigree that's 30 years old. Gosh, Easy. After all that trouble, these tomatoes must be perfect for canning. They are. But only the finest of these are sent to Stokely. And it doesn't stop there, Joe. Why, within one hour after they're picked, they start on their way through the canneries. The first step is a plunge into a pool of clear, fresh water. And up they go. Next, a real cold shower. Now they're ready for a rigid inspection. Only the juiciest and healthiest pass the test. Then these choice specimens get a nice hot bath. <laughs> hot enough to make them peel off their coats. Time. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Easy's just shown me how Stokely's produced nothing but the finest. Well, now let me show you Stokely's finest selling plan. Here is a typical housewife. She's glanced at a lot of ads, but she's read every word of the Stokely's finest ads, as research proves. When she enters your store, she's already been pre-sold on the Stokely finest label. 
Notice how these bright, attractive labels, packed with appetite appeal, give a real lift to the appearance of the store. Notice also the family resemblance in the complete line of all Stokely labels. One Stokely's finest product sells another and brings you extra profits. And the Stokely label was selected by a group of experts as the outstanding descriptive label in the industry, giving the housewife more accurate information about the product in the can. Swell. But how about that sound merchandising that makes for volume sales and profits? Well, first, there's the day-to-day -day merchandising. We all know that both grocers and customers like recipes and that reprints of the national advertising sell merchandise. Oh, I see. So you put these two proved selling elements together in one display piece. That's right, and it does a multiple selling job for you because it not only sells Stokely's finest products, but all the other products necessary for this complete menu. In order to make the dishes featured, a woman buys many items in your store. Now tell them about the Stokely Weeks, Mr. Stokely Man. <laughs> you bet, easy. When grocers tie in with ads like this, Stokely Weeks are the greatest traffic and volume builders in the grocery business. Stokely Weeks draw customers to your store in droves. And remember this, Joe. Like anything else, you get as much out of a Stokely Week as you fellows in the store put into it. See, Joe? You fellows in the store are the important guys. 